That's what I'm waiting for, because the timing of this Michael Jackson shit is what makes me doubt it. Every time there's war is going out of control, or the economy gets bad, or something is wrong with the world at large, it's always these moments in history that Michael Jackson will coincidentally jerk off a kid. This is getting a little ridiculous. Like, are you planning this shit? Do you have meetings? Michael, thank you for coming. As you know, Michael, the war has not been going as well as we expected. There's been a lot of hiccups, and the public is asking us a lot of questions, of course, and, well, Michael, there's no nice way to say this, and all I know how to do is be direct, so let me just be direct. We're going to need you to jerk off another child, Mike. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But it would really help out. Or maybe he did it. Who knows? Who knows? That's the thing. That's what I wanted to say. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Mike, God, and this little boy know. That's, that's about it. That's about it. The only reason that I can even talk about this shit is because everybody is speculating. They all think he did it. And I don't think he did it. I'm alone in this. I don't think he did it. I'm not going to say I don't think he did it. That's too strong. <laughs> Let me just say I am reserving judgment until all the facts come out. But so far from what I heard, I mean, the kid said he was dying of cancer, he was in Make-A-Wish Foundation, he claims he had two weeks to live, and it was his dying wish to meet Michael Jackson. Come on, man, give me a fucking break. This kid is 10 years old, he don't remember Thriller. What the fuck you want to meet Michael Jackson for, honestly? I remember Thriller, and I just, like, kind of want to meet this nigga, like... I wouldn't break an appointment to meet him. I'll put it that way. I'd have to already be free. That's ridiculous. It's like if I'm dying in two weeks and go, oh, mama, oh, get me in a room with Chubby Chuckle. I wouldn't want to meet that motherfucker. Not my last two weeks. Why not Usher or somebody like this? So then the kid claims he goes to Michael's house. This is where it all gets crazy. I don't like, you know, he does everything you'd expect at Michael's house. They uh, climbed trees and rode roller coasters and Ferris wheels. The chef made cookies, pies, and cakes. They was petting a monkey and the giraffe, sang songs, kid shit. And in the middle of all this childlike activity, for some reason, Mike pulled out some wine and some pills <laughs> and sucked his kid's dick. <laughs> Folks, it hurts me to say it. And the kid had the nerve to call that abuse. Said, Motherfucker, that is a good host. God damn, what else do you want? What else do you want? I'm lucky to get a glass of a, a grape drink at my friend's house. Let alone a roller coaster ride and my dick sucked. Mike must be confused like I brought you in my house, I fed you, I sucked your dick, and this is how you repay me, motherfucker. This was your wish, not mine. Thought you were dying in two weeks. What happened to that motherfucker? Was, I've been in court for a year and a half. You get strong every time I see you. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that... <laughs> this is fucked up. I shouldn't even say it's fucked. Wouldn't it be some ironic shit if they found out through this case that the cure for cancer was Michael Jackson sucking your dick somehow? Like if Mike had powers like Green Mile and all the kids like, please, Mike, suck our dicks, mm, never again. <laughs> we didn't appreciate it. Here. Can we at least study your saliva? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, Mike.